Hey, just a short little video to show you how to terminate a Category 6 uh, RJ45 insert onto a Category 6 uh, twisted pair cable. This right here is a Cat6 cable, and this is a Cat6 jack. And the Cat6 jack usually comes in a little kit bag like that, which is usually the, the what they call the jack insert. And then a couple of caps that go on top. Take a pair of scissors and strip away some slack. Now the right way to do this is to take your scissors, make a little bitty notch right there, and then take this 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 little it looks like dental floss, it's called ripcord. Take this little dental floss and pull back, oh, about another inch. The reason we do that is in case we might have nicked anything when we did the little trick with our scissors. You pull that back, then use your scissors to carefully cut off the slack of this, what they call the jacket, this, this outer skin on the what cable is called the jacket, jacket, to be as close to the place where we terminate it as possible. What we don't want is for our, is for our cables to be connected this way and then to have this extra you know, exposed uh, twisted wire hanging out like that. We want to get it up as close as possible. We also don't want to untwist these wires any more than we absolutely have to. Now, on most of these jacks will usually be a little color code on the side. And I don't know if the camera can focus well enough, but what, what this is, is you've got blue on this side and brown on this side. So the blue is perfor I'm, the, the blue is punctuated with white stripes here, and the brown has uh, brown and white stripes there. What that means is, is that in your wire, you've got these twisted pair, which come with a combination of a blue and a white, a brown and a white, a green and a white, an orange and a white. So what they're telling you here with this little diagram is that, you're, is that with your blue pair, which you're going to put in these two slots, you want to put your white one on the one that's got the white blue markings and you want to put your blue wire in the one that's got the solid blue. And repeat the same process for every other spot. So I'm going to get started by taking the wire and figuring out about where I want it to be and then beginning to put them in the basic areas where I'm going to need them. Basically just kind of do a little pre-staging here. Okay, so basically that's what my pattern is going to look like. Now on the other side, it might seem a little confusing because there's there's like um, an orange and a green and they're, they're on opposite sides, top and bottom, and you're like, well, why is it like that? Well, you can't see it, but on the very top there's a little A in between the orange and the green, and then on the bottom there's a little B between the orange and the green. What that's saying is, is that if you if you terminate the wires the matching the top way you'll have what's known as a 568A termination and if you term, terminate them on the way they match on the bottom then you'll have a B termination generally most of the time you want a B termination whatever you do you want your your jack to match the other end so if your other end is a patch panel if your patch panel has a B style termination you want B style on your jack okay Generally, if you're in doubt, use B. A is, is less common. All right, so I'm going to take these wires and I'm going to untwist them just enough to get them in the slots the way I need them to go. Because the, the trick is to not have to untwist these wires too much. The more that you untwist them, in other words, the more that the wire is untwisted between the time it leaves the jacket until the time it ends up in that jack, um, is more likely that noise and interference can get in. Now, if you're new at this, don't get too stressed out about that. If you've got, you know, a half an inch of, of you know, untwisted wire between here and, and the jacket, don't, it's still going to work, okay? It's still going to work just fine. The, this is just kind of me being a perfectionist. Um, you know, they make this stuff designed to handle one gig networks, you know, the Cat6 with the Cat6 jacks. I find though that most of the time many people are still running 100-bit networks and moreover even when the cable doesn't quite meet the muster for Cat6, in other words when I test it and it doesn't come up as a Cat6 but rather it comes up as a Cat5, it still handles the one gig with no problem. Alright, so don't, don't get too stressed out about the, the twisty thing. Okay, so that's kind of what it should look like when you're right before you're ready to cut. Alright. Now I can see already I've made a mistake, so I'm going to go back and fix my mistake. What I did was I messed the pattern up on the green and the blue. This is a good reason to double check your work right before you start cutting. I had the green and had the green towards the back, and it needs to be towards the front. 
Same thing with the blue. The thing that drives me bananas, and I've been in this industry for many years, is that every one of these jack manufacturers has some kind of a different pattern for the way you lay out the wires, which I just never could understand why they couldn't just agree on one pattern for everything. Okay, next I need my uh, punch down tool with the 66 cut blade. This is the blade that goes inside here, all right? The 66 cut blade. If you don't know where to get one of these, you can get one of these at Home Depot, or if you want, there's a link um, on the website that's listed in the uh, description that, that shows you um, a link where you can you can get these things on Amazon. They're not too bad. You can get a pro grade one for about 80 bucks, or you could get a beginner grade one for probably about 30 bucks. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is with the cut blade in there and cut, the, the cut end is, is the one that's got the little triangle, the little slanted side to it is I want the cut side on the outside. In other words, I want the cut to be facing away from the jack. As I'm gonna go down on each one of these slots, I'm gonna push in this, this little blade on top of each one of these. And what it does is it uses a spring-loaded um, bounce effect to, it's called an impact, is a spring-loaded impact to drive the wire down deep inside that groove where it, 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 it gets pressed in between two little metal teeth which then make the connection. Simultaneously, that cut blade is cutting off the end of the wire that we don't need. With that. Okay, once this is done, then you put your little dust caps on top of there. They're also called retention caps. Basically what they do is they keep oxidation and air, and they keep also the possibility of the wire popping out of there. But anyway, that's what it should look like when it's done. And again, ideally, we want the skin or the jacket of the cable coming all the way up to the very end of the uh, right before it goes in and gets terminated we don't want exposed wire back here okay so that is a category 6 rj45 terminated to a category 6 cable thanks for watching